Join me in walking you through two different yet very simple ways to create a Venn diagram inside PowerPoint. Plus, I'll show you how you can make these Venn diagrams interactive. That way you can better engage your audience throughout your presentation. So hit that subscribe button for more PowerPoint tips and tricks, and let's get to it. Method number one is just using PowerPoint shapes. This method gives you the most freedom in the customization of your Venn diagram. So on the PowerPoint slide that you wanna add your Venn diagram to, we'll click on insert, go to shapes, and click on that oval here. I always like to hold down the shift key, that way I'm creating the perfect circle when I'm creating the size of my shape. From here, I can click Control D to duplicate and add in our second shape and move it over so that they overlap. However, you'll notice that this middle section is a little bit hard to see where they overlap. We only have that one side that is viewable. So if I really wanna highlight that middle section, we're actually gonna use PowerPoint's Merge Shape feature. So to use that, we're gonna hold down the Shift key and select both of our shapes. Then we'll go into the Shape Format and click on our Merge Shapes icon up here. So there are lots of different routes that you can take. So if you wanna learn more about the merging shapes, take a look at the video linked up above. For now, we're just gonna use the Fragment option. And this option actually creates three different shapes based on where the two shapes overlapped. So now we can go ahead and add the colors and text boxes to really create our own Venn diagram. So you can of course use the shape styles that are up top or we can right click and open up our format shape side panel here. And we can edit our colors for all of our three different shapes that were just created. Then I'm gonna hold down the shift key again to select all of them and change the lines to white. Now let's add in some text boxes. That way we know what each one of our elements or categories is that we want to discuss. So like I said, I really like using the PowerPoint shapes here to create our Venn diagram. That way we can really move around these text boxes and our colors to however we would like our Venn diagram to look. So now that we have our text written down, maybe we wanna dive a little bit deeper into each one of these categories. To provide a nice visual for that, we can duplicate the slide over here and let's hold down the shift key and select the plant side and that middle section. And let's turn these to gray and we'll remove our plant text here. That way the food side of the Venn diagram is very highlighted. To do the same thing for the plant side, we can duplicate that slide again, shift and select the middle and the food. We'll turn those to gray and also remove our food text. And for one last time, if you also want to highlight that middle piece, we can hold down the shift key to select both the food and the plants, turn those to gray and delete those texts there. Now we can also add a morph transition to our slides here. That way you get that nice seamless movement between your slides. Now to make these Venn diagrams interactive. We can use this first slide here to have an open discussion with our audience, or we can run a sorting activity with a slide similar to this one. For the discussion with your audience, once you're in your presentation mode, you can have them begin shouting out different options and examples to go into each one of these Venn diagram categories. And as they are shouting them out, you can write them down. That way there's a record of their ideas. I'm using the free PowerPoint add-in class point here to do my annotations, not only because I can use the pen, but also because we have the option for text boxes, because sometimes my handwriting is not that great. For that second interactive activity, we're also going to be using class point. That way we can freely move these objects on our slide to fill in our Venn diagram here. So if you don't have class point downloaded and installed already, you can download for free at classpoint.io and then it will appear as just another tab in your PowerPoint ribbon. So let's go ahead and recreate this slide. That way I can show you guys how it works. So we'll go back up to this first slide here and let's just delete these annotations that we made and we'll add in some text boxes for examples that you want to add onto your slide. So we can start here and we can add our text right into that shape. 
Then feel free to format your shape however you would like. And along with different text boxes, you can also insert pictures and those can be draggable as well. So I can just search up something online. Let's just do a pizza graphic here. And we can add this onto our slide, resize it a little bit. Now, to make these draggable during your presentation, we can hold down the shift key and select any of the options that you want to be draggable. So continue adding as many as you would like. And in that class point tab, we'll click on more features and then draggable objects. Then all we have to do is make sure that they're drag enabled. So when you go into your PowerPoint presentation, you'll see a quick highlight to remind you which objects are draggable. We can click on that draggable objects icon down here on the class point toolbar and begin moving around our objects. Moving on to method number two, we're going to be adding in a smart art graphic for our Venn diagram. So to do that in our insert tab, we can click smart art and in the relationships category here, scroll down to find the Venn diagram option and add that into your slide. From here, you can pretty easily add more circles into the diagram. I'll just leave it at two and I can show you guys what it looks like when we add our text. So like I said, this way is a little bit more constricting on how you can move around your items. However, there is a workaround that I can show you. So as you guys can see here, the plants and the food is pretty large, not a lot of space to add in any items or examples underneath each category. So instead we can convert this to a shape and then we'll want to ungroup these. So ungroup here, we can ungroup and we'll see now that these are two separate shapes. So you can feel free to add a text box and delete these words that you had before. That way you can place the text boxes however you would like. However, just note that you're not gonna be able to change this middle section to a different color like we did previously. So you have these two different options to create a Venn diagram. You can choose which one works best for you and continue editing and customizing to match your own information. Then don't forget to continue adding those interactivity features to really engage and interact with your audience. To find out more about ClassPoint and all of ClassPoint's other interactive features, take a look at the videos here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the ClassPoint channel.